This is a code cell and in this video we're going to look at how it works, how to set it up with the Arduino IDE and how easy it is to integrate it into your projects. Let's start with what you'll find inside the box. Depending on which option you selected, the code cell can either come with just the light sensor or with both the light and the motion sensor. In the box you will also find four handy screws and pin headers. You can also select to have these pre-soldered onto your board. The option LiPo battery will come into a bigger box. But if you didn't select the battery you'll also receive a free cable which allows you to use your own LiPo battery. The code cell comes with a preloaded software so plugging this in into a USB-C cable should turn on the device running this blue breathing LED animation. The LED will flash into a solid blue color when it's charging the battery and green when it's battery powered. If the battery is running empty, it will blink red 10 times and then go into deep sleep mode, waking back up when the charging cable is connected. The code cells controller here is called the ESP32C3 which supports both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. We can just plug this into our PC to program our sketch on the Arduino IDE. You should find your device by going to Tools and Port. If you never used an ESP32 family, just go to File, Preference and enter this URL in the Additional Board Manager URLs. Then head on to Tools, Port and choose the ESP32C3 Dev Module. Make sure that the clock speed is set to 160 megahertz and that you also enable the USB CDC on boot. Now this is very important to enable because it allows the code cell to talk via the serial monitor and as soon as you plug it in it should confirm that it has initialized correctly. The next thing we recommend doing is installing our library. This has multiple examples that can get you more familiar with the code cell functions. We are continuously updating and adding new features to this library so always make sure you have the latest version installed. If we open the getting started example here here we have an explanation of all the macros you can use. So to initialize the code cell you just need to enter which sensing function you are planning to use. For example light or light plus motion rotate. Just use the plus to add more sensing functions. Then in this loop we just have to run this function. This is basically handling the battery management and other technical details inside the code cell. It will return through every 100 milliseconds. So for example the sprint sensor function will print all the initialized sensor values every 100 milliseconds. Reading the data from the light sensor is super simple. In this example here we're using depth gestures to control the angles of the flat flaps. Inertial measurement units can be a little bit complex for beginners but we made sure to simplify it as much as possible. There are multiple examples that show you how to read the step counts, the state, activity and also the angular rotations. Now most other ESP32 development boards usually have a reset switch and a boot switch but the C3 module can automatically enter the bootloader via the Arduino serial interface which basically allowed us to make the code cell as small as it is but just in case your code ever freezes don't worry you can still refresh your device to enter the bootloader just short these two pins with a wire like this and then just reconnect your usb connection on both of these sides we have the gpios which are pin to pin compatible with all our modules allowing you to directly solder them together or connect them with pin headers all of these can be used as pwm pins and some of them can also be used as adc pins on this side we have five other pins one of them is connected to the 3.3 volts voltage regulator, another ground pin, the I squared C data lines and the USB 5 volts input pin. With these digital lines you can connect to any other I squared C sensor as long as it's 3.3 volts compatible. If you'd like to learn more we have a full written guide about the code cells hardware and software which we linked in the description of this video. Also if you have any other questions just put them down in the comments below.